Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I've got something I want to show you today that is just so cute. It's a new idea for um, junk journal embellishments. So these are little pins or they're really not pins. I don't know what you would call them um, that I have created for um, junk journals. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of wire and I'm looping it at one end, threading on my beads, and looping it at the other end. So I'm fixing to show you how to do that. You also can make them like this. This one I just kind of bent it up so that it has a little, it's kind of like a little V, and then I've got a little beaded dangle going there. The idea is to take some bulb pins like these and pin these two guys onto your journal page, your journal cover, whatever. So the rest of it would dangle like that. And I just thought that would be so pretty. So these down here are just dangles that I've created to add on to these, you know, on the end, wherever you want it. And then I also made these little dangles using my um, bulb pins. And this is some costume jewelry that I took apart and added some Swarovski crystals. And there's another one, just has some beautiful pieces on it. This was a part of a necklace that I had, and I took it apart. And then this one, this is part of some costume jewelry, too, that little blingy thing. They're so pretty. So anyway, you can dangle things. Even this, I didn't do anything to that. That's a piece of jewelry. <laughs> it was a necklace, and I thought, oh, that by itself would be great. So I am going to show you how I'm doing this. Now, the wire that I have here is 18 gauge. It's a little heavy. 20 gauge would be better for this, but I've used up all my 20 gauge. So all I am doing is creating a loop at one end, and it was about a, an inch. No, not even, not even an inch, really. And then I'm going to bend that little tail up and I'm just going to wire wrap it around my loop. And again, this wire is pretty heavy, so you could even go with a 24 gauge, but then it's kind of bendable. And, you know, this is going to be stronger when we get through with it. This one will be stronger. So all I'm doing is wrapping that wire around my post, which is hard to do when you're not at your normal workstation and then this is just nylon jaw pliers I just take them to kind of clean things up pick things up a little bit so this is all I have so far have a loop on one end and now I'm going to thread on beads so I'm thinking um I don't know let's see I've got these I've got copper wire copper or the wire is called copper. The beads are called rose gold. They look exactly the same to me. So <laughs> who knows? And let's see. I think I will thread on a bead. I like turquoise with um, copper. For some reason, that's just so pretty to me. I love that combination. And maybe another um, copper one. And then maybe this guy. Like it. And then maybe this guy. Okay, and then I pulled this little piece of uh, shell bead out, and it's just so pretty. So I am going to take a jump ring, and it's probably, the jump ring's going to have to be gold. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make a, I'll make a jump ring, but let me make sure this wire fits through there. Yes, it does. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a jump ring, because I don't have one in the color that I want it. And I want a bigger one. So all I'm doing is taking the largest end of my round nose pliers. And I'm just going round and round and round and round and round. Okay. And then I'm going to cut it where the two meet. Where the two wires come together. I'm going to cut it. All right. So there's a homemade jump ring. Let's see if it's going to be big enough. So all you do now is open your jump ring, which mine's a little skiwatchy, but that's okay. This is just for me. And try 
to get that bead. There we go. There it is. Went through the hole. Yay. And then we're going to close the jump ring, which, like I said, mine's a little ski watchy, so I'm going to have to work on it just a little bit. There we go. Well, do a better job than I'm doing because I didn't make it as round. There we go. Round as it needed to be. And so then all I would do is thread this guy onto my loop because I want it to dangle. And then maybe I'm going to add another one of those copper looking beads and one more colored bead. Do I want this one? Yeah. Let's look at that and see. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. That's going around the copper. So I'm going to take the copper off and put it on the end so that little loop was hanging on it. And then you can finish it there or you can keep going. I think I might keep going. I think I'm going to go one more bead and one more of the little bitty copper looking balls. All right. Can you see what I've done? So that, that's all there is to it. I'm just threading beads onto my wire. And now I'm going to take my, and see the loop is going this way. So I want the this loop to go the same way. So I'm going to bend it over. If you don't know how to do wire wrapping, I've got some other videos that you can, um, that you can watch. But I'm just going to bend it back over my pliers. I'm going to take them out, put the bottom jaw in. And then I'm going to bend this guy at a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to wrap. Like I said, this wire is pretty strong. You really didn't even have to wire wrap this one, but I was just so that you can see. I could just fold it straight over. And then all I'm doing is taking my little tail that's sticking out and tuck it in so that it doesn't have a sharp edge. And then when you're through, you've got this beautiful embellishment that you can attach here and here to your journal page. Let's straighten that up a little bit. There we go. And then it has this beautiful shell dangling. That's all there is to it, guys. It's easy. It's fun to make. So give that a try. And let me see what you make. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.